What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Last Raps Baseball Card Break. And today we are going to do our second hobby box of Top Stadium Club. And for those of you who are new here, the way we do it is this. We'll open up our box and see what we're able to pull. There's no sales on this one yet. If you're interested in anything, you can check out our eBay page. We have listed a pile of Stadium Club stuff. They're reasonably priced and everything else. Our first box that we opened the other day, this one here, got us a... Brian Hayes rookie card auto and a Tristan McKenzie and so today we are going to open this one here and see what we're able to come up with obviously we're hoping to get ourselves a sweet looking autographed card and who knows what we're going to get for a box topper certainly the box toppers are a little bit of a challenge we got a Christian Yelich the first time out which was a pretty sweet looking card and hopefully we can get ourselves something decent here so here we go without further ado, we're gonna break this big bad boy open. And today our box topper is a Christian Pache rookie card. So for those who are Atlanta Braves fans, there you have it. Christian Pache is our box topper of the day today. So that's kind of cool. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it. We're gonna take out all the packs. There are eight cards per pack and there are a total of uh, 16 packs in the box so let's get rid of the box here and we'll just leave this as such in front of us and hopefully we're going to be able to get ourselves something decent out of here something to get excited about so here we go here comes pack number one on the way we'll take our time with these we're not doing any more hobby breaks of this stuff but we will uh, do and we'll look at these ones again as well maybe out of a blaster and so today we got ourselves a Matt Olson of the Oakland Athletics. And then we line ourselves up with a Bo Bichette. That's the first time we've had Bo, Bo Bichette. That's kind of cool. And then we've got ourselves Trevor Bauer, who's got himself into some hot water this week, unfortunately for him. There is Bauer, and there's an Alomar. So that would be pretty cool if we had an Alomar autograph. But what do we have here? We do have our first insert and the insert has got to be the superstar duos. It's got to be Trout on the other side, one would think. And, of course, there it is. Mike Trout and, of course, our friend Shohei Otani. There's the key Brian Hayes. We got That's the first time we've got the base card. So we have Hayes in the base. Now we've got, I'll put the other insert over here with the rookies. There's Roberto Alomar of the Toronto Blue Jays. Of course, he's got himself into trouble this year, too. There is Wilson Contreras of the Chicago Cubs, and that finishes with Ryan Jeffers, a rookie card of the Minnesota Twins. So we'll put him and Key Brian Hayes together. And so there you have it. There is pack number one in the books, and I'd say that's a pretty productive pack. You get that duo of Shohei and Trout. So we're not complaining at all. We're hoping that we can get some different cards than we had in our first break, if you watched that one the other day. There's a Dane Dunning rookie card of the Texas Rangers. We haven't seen a Dane Dunning yet. And who do we have here? There is the professor, Greg Maddox, celebrating one of his National League Championship Series of victories. So we got the professor. We have Kyle Lewis of the Seattle Mariners. Shogo Akiyama on the back. Did we get a Shogo autograph? That would be kind of cool. I don't remember seeing Shogo the last time out. So who do we have here? We've got Lucas Giolito. We got a Joey Bart red foil stamp rookie card so that's kind of neat we'll put him in the insert stuff here because that is a short print Luis Capusano rookie card put him over here there is Shogo Shogo Akiyama formerly of the Saitama Cebu Alliance applying his trade for the Cincinnati Reds and and of course we have Mookie Betts so quite a few cards that we've pulled so far in this box we did not see in our first break that's good news for us Sure, sure happy about that. We don't need any more doubles than we have to. On the back, that looks like a Ronald Acuna Jr. on the back, and that's exactly who it is. So we're happy about that. We got an Acuna. So there is Mark Hakana on the front. We follow that up with Evan Longoria. And we got ourselves a Frankie Montez card. Of course, it looks like he goes today for the Oakland A's at the time we're shooting this video. Uh, we got a Simeon on the back. So what do we have here? Is there a Simeon auto on the front? No, but it's him probably making a great play in a Blue Jay uniform. There's Brady Singer, who is one of the top picks a couple of years ago in the draft. He originally was supposed to be one of the higher picks. Now, how cool would that be if we had a Randy Johnson autograph 
on this uh, stadium club, or maybe we got a Chris Bubbick. I hope that's not the case. And these are kind of sticking together a little bit. There's a Bubbick rookie. There's a big unit stadium club card. That's kind of neat, so we'll put him on that. And there is our buddy Ronald Acuna Jr. sporting the dreadlocks. He is no longer a rookie or an insert in this case, so we'll put him over here. Here comes our next pack. So we're pretty satisfied so far with this box. Still haven't hit any of our autos yet. So here we go. Here is the next one up, and this is the Rocket, Roger Clemens. I didn't see him in our last break. And there's Trent Grisham of the San Diego Padres. There's Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. And there's some backwards cards. So do we get ourselves... I, I don't think we're getting a Lou Gehrig autograph because that was what it looks like. We did get a Lou Gehrig red short print. There's Christian Pache, rookie that goes along with the Pache that we pulled. There's Kyle Tucker who is having a very nice season for the Houston Astros. Monte Harrison, who is playing right now with the Marlins. And, of course, there's Dean Kremer. Dean Kremer, I believe, is the first player born in Israel to make it to the major leagues. Correct me if I'm wrong, Oriole fans, but I'm pretty sure that is what I had read recently. And he's having a decent year. So here comes our next pack. And in this one here, we've got the great... Willie Mays, and Willie Mays is still with us. He's the oldest living Hall of Famer. There's Tristan McKenzie. We pulled his redemption auto in the last break. Obviously a little disappointed in that. There is the great Jackie Robinson. Fantastic. Anytime we can get a Jackie. I wonder if Plesak could be our auto. I could see Plesak being the auto. Oh, there it is. We've got ourselves an orange Ichiro. That's the first orange card that we've had. And if you're going to get an orange one, it might as well be Ichiro. So that'll go over there. Awesome stuff. There is Ryan Braun, who is no longer playing anymore, doing a high five, it looks like, with one of his coaches. There's Zach Plesak. We follow that up with Josh Hader. And then the last but not least we have is Javi Baez. Javi Baez looks like he's throwing the ball, almost going to hit the pirate player in the head. He can play on the... Rundown. So we got an Ichiro Orange. Still no autos yet. We got almost um, three quarters of the box left. One pack short of that. See Luis Robert on the back. Hey, there we go. We got Mike Trout. We hadn't picked up a Trout yet to this point. Didn't get one in the last box, although we did get an insert of Trout. There's Frank Thomas of the Chicago White Sox. A lot of landscape cards this year. I'm not a huge fan of the landscape. There's Xander Bogarts. He doesn't look like Bogarts in that card. At least to me, it doesn't. Well, I, I definitely hope it's not an Andres Jimenez auto. But we'll find out in a minute. There's Daz Cameron, who is now up with the Detroit Tigers. So we got Daz. There is Mitch White of the Los Angeles Angels. And I'm glad we did not get a Andres Jimenez <laughs> autograph. I would have been happy about that. There's Pete Alonso for the New York Mets, Big Meat Pete, or the Polar Bear, depending on what you refer to him as. And there is Luis Robert, who is uh, supposed to be coming back from his injury sooner than later now. We heard that the rehab seems to be going pretty good. He'll be a huge impact for the White Sox. Of course, they're already in first place. Getting him back will be like making a mid-season trade. So here we go. Here comes our next one, and our next one is Chipper Jones. So there is Chipper. You got Ryan Sandberg. We had a Sandberg in the last one. Now, I'd get excited if I had a Bryce Harper auto in our midst. Or even, oh, we didn't. But we did get a gold glove winner, it looks like. So we've got ourselves Lorenzo Kane of the Milwaukee Brewers. So we got a low Kane. We got ourselves Harper. And the auto, if I'm right, it is Evan White. There he is, the gold glove winner for the... Seattle Mariners can't hit his weight, but he can field his position pretty good. So we got an Evan White. And then who is the backwards card? We got a Max Scherzer. And there we also have a Glaber Torres. I hate it when these things stick together a little bit. Hopefully there's no paper loss. I don't think there will be. So we got a virtual reality of Scherzer. We got ourselves a Carlos Carrasco and a Glaber Torres. So there you have it. And we're almost halfway through. I'm going to take this big stack of veterans and put them over here we'll keep our inserts and our rookies here and here comes our next pack so we did get ourselves the evan white in the first auto so here we go here comes our next one 
There is Will Myers standing in front of the MasterCard sign. Have we got anybody on the back? No, it's Will Myers, nobody else. Carlos Correa locking it off for the Astros. Sorry for this. We got it's it's not exactly the easiest uh, break sometimes, especially when they flip the cards around. There's Justin Dunn. Mike Brosu. So he was from Munstie, Indiana, I believe. He went to Oakland University. He was a Golden Grizzly. There is a Kirby Puckett Red Parallel. That's kind of cool. We haven't seen Kirby yet. There's Ernie Banks. Let's play two, Ernie. We got ourselves that Mike Brosu. And there we have Ramon Laureano. And we finish with Nico Goodrum. So I'm pretty happy with this box just in general because if you saw our last break, we don't have a lot of doubles in this one. There's a few, but not a ton. So this is a pretty decent break for us, and I can handle that when we don't have a lot of the doubles. So here we go. We've got ourselves Christian Yelich. We got his box topper the last time. So we got ourselves the Yelich. Anybody else on the back there? Nope, just plain old Christian Yelich. There's Luis Garcia. I got him before. So he. I definitely remember him from our first break. There is the Buck himself, Byron Buxton. We'll put Buxton up there. And then we'll flip it around. Oh, we got a Honus Wagner in there. and I'm, That would be great if we had a Honus Wagner autograph, but we won't. There's Ahmed Rosario in the red parallel. And there is Honus Wagner, Pittsburgh Pirate great, followed by Stan the Man Musual. And that was pretty cool. There's Raphael Devers, who's getting it going now. Looks like he may be the third baseman. And there is Drew Rasmussen. If I'm not mistaken, he was traded to Tampa Bay this year at some point. Or the Willie Adamas. If I, I believe he was part of that trade with JP for a reason. So here we go. Here comes the back half of the break. Remember, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and let us know what you think of our break so far. There is Dave Winfield. I've seen him before. We had him in our last break. So we'll put the veterans back down here again. There is Jamani Jones. I definitely had him in our last break. I definitely had Nolan Ryan. You can never get enough Nolan Ryans. I just hope that that's not Pavin Smith for the auto, but we're going to find out in a moment. And it doesn't look like it's maybe either. There's Jose Ramirez. Is that Ramirez a base? It's looking like it. So Ramirez will go over here. Toronto Blue Jays, a Danny Jansen. Danny Jansen struggling at the plate this year when he's been playing. There's Pavin Smith, rookie card for Arizona. Freddie Freeman, all hail Freddie Freeman. It looks like he walked it off in the rain, or maybe he's about to get rained on with some stuff. And then there's Jesus Aguiar. So there you go. We're one pack into the second half of the break. What do we have next? I'm still happy about the orange Ichiro. The orange Ichiro is not easy to find. And in fact, I'm going to take a look back at that to see if that one is numbered. Ichiro numbered card. There's Esteban Floreal. Esteban Floreal. Maybe our Japanese customers would be happy to get one of those. There's Eric Hosmer. Now, how cool would it be to get a U Darvish autograph? I don't think that's coming our way. But what do we have here? We do have a, a Zach Birdie auto, Chicago White Sox. So that's our other one, a second rookie card. So Birdie and Evan White. A little bit of a whimper in box two. And it looks like they're both base autos. There's Corey Seager. There's our U Darvish. And there's our virtual reality of Corey Seager. And then, of course, we got him as the VR. And now we've got Dalton Varsho for the Arizona Diamondbacks. I did not get him in my first break. And who do we have here? None other than Walker Bueller. That's cool. We got Walker Bueller. I haven't seen Walker Bueller yet in these particular ones. So here we go. Here's our next break. And our next one we got Luis Patino for the Tampa Bay Rays. And we got Jazz Chisholm, who got off to a really strong start this year. He's from the Bahamas. There's Max Scherzer for the Washington Nationals. Kind of cool if we had an opportunity to get a, another autograph card. You see, sometimes you can get three. There's Jacoby Jones, red parallel card. Of course, Jacoby has been designated for assignment by the Tigers. He's back down in their AAA affiliate. There's Cody Bellinger of the Dodgers. And there you have Max Kepler. Looks like he's going into the Ivy, playing at Wrigley Field. You got a Joe Adele rookie card. 
And that was definitely not his forte last year was playing defense. And then you've got a Max Muncy. First time I've seen Max Muncy. So we have a lot of different single cards. I'm curious again on that Ichiro if that was a numbered card or not. I haven't seen any chrome cards yet. And so here we go. We've got Zach Gallen. So Zach Gallen is in the house. There's Trey Turner. Trey Turner hit for the cycle this week. Tucker Davison, I have a Tucker Davison before. There's Andrew Benintendi, who was starting to get it going. Oh, and we have a, a die cut. And who's our die cut? It looks like it's Bryce Harper. Yes, indeed, we have a, a die cut. Those tri, triumpurites or whatever it is, however you say that. We have a, a Justin Verlander for the Houston Astros, the always smiling Justin Verlander. And then there's Andrew Benintendi. Ryan Castellani is in the books. He is over here. And, of course, you got Spencer Howard, who is pitching for the Philadelphia Phillies. Three more packs to go in this break. And this is the last hobby box that we will be doing. So let's see what we can come up with here. Here is David Ortiz. We got him in the last break. Always nice to get a David Ortiz card. Still no um, Chrome cards yet. There's Clark Schmidt of the... New York Yankees. We got ourselves an Aaron Judge card. Aaron Judge in the house. And there's an Aloy Jimenez and among others. So we'll flip these around. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, we got a Photographer's Proof Buster Posey. Is that one numbered? It says it's not, but it says a Photo Proof of Posey. So that's kind of neat. That's the first one of those. I don't know what that would vary, but we did open another box and never got any of those. There's J.D. Davis. There's Eloy Jimenez making the catch. There's Alex Bregman. And then there's Salvador Perez. So that, that's exciting. We got ourselves a photographer's proof card. Two packs left. Still no chrome in this one. Maybe Tops will be generous and give us that third auto that we've seen and heard about. And who knows what we can come up with. Here we go. Let's see. We've got, that's Mike Yastrzemski of the San Francisco Giants. There is Lourdes Guriel of the Blue Jays. What do we have for our stuff here? We got a couple inserts, it looks like. So let's turn those ones around. Oh, and we got a stadium club, Nolan Ryan. Remember those back in the day? Was that one numbered? Doesn't look like it. We have a, a superstar duo, and so, of course, you're going to get yourself a Juan Soto on the front and a Steven Strasburg on the back. We do have, we have seen Charlie Blackman. There is Ryan McMahon making a diving catch. And we've got a couple more here. There's Tim Anderson and a flying squirrel, Jeff McNeil. So we got a bunch of those ones. That's in place. So now we're into our last pack, looking for some last pack magic here in our last hobby box of the Stadium Club. So here we go, everybody, on to the last pack. Let's see what we can come up with. And our first one we have is Austin Meadows. It's pretty cool. We got a Christian Javier. We've had one of him before. There is a Sam Huff. I've also had him in the last break. So are we gonna get a, one of these ones gonna be a numbered card and will they be a Chrome card? We have a Johnny Bench. That is a red parallel. So Johnny Bench, red parallel. That's pretty cool. Dalton Jeffries, a rookie card of his. Put him over here. We've got a Cal Ripken Jr. And how cool is that being tagged or about to be tagged by Wade Boggs? We got another cool one. There's Reggie Jackson in the Oakland Athletics uniform. And then it's followed by another legend in David Wright. So I'm going to have to go back and take a look to see if we got any Chrome cards in here. I don't think we got any numbered cards, but we'll have to do a look on that. So there you have it, everybody. Let us know in the comments section what you think uh, of this hobby box. Uh, once again, you've watched another Last Raps Baseball video production. We hope you all have a great day. Come on back and see us again. Our autos, Evan White and Nick Birdie. Nothing to get too excited about. But there you have it. All right, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all again later. Thanks for watching.